In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to get your Fitbit device to talk to Apple's health app in iOS 8. The health app provides a really useful dashboard overview of your health, including fitness-related measurements, vital stats, nutrition, and a load of other stuff. Unfortunately, Fitbit made the decision not to support HealthKit, which is a pity considering Fitbit's own app is so utterly terrible. I won't go into details why it's so bad, but let's just say that customers spending upwards of 60 to 70 pounds on a fitness tracker should really be given an app that provides a more satisfying experience. Fortunately, there are some workarounds for this. Firstly, uh, for logging your dietary intake, you shouldn't be using the fitness app. MyFitnessPal is a free app that provides a much easier and more useful way of tracking what you eat. It has a massive database for food and more often than not you can scan the barcode of the food packaging to get the nutritional information. This app then sends the data straight to the health app. But how do we get the Fitbit device to talk to the health app? Well, a new app was released yesterday that allows the syncing of information between your Fitbit account and the health app. It's called Sync Solver and is available in the App Store for 69 pence. Once you've downloaded the app and opened it, it'll ask you what information you would like to sync. There's a long list of things to consider and I wouldn't just go and switch them all on. If you have an iPhone 5S, 6 or 6 Plus, your phone has a motion coprocessor that tracks your steps and distance traveled every day. This info is sent to your health app and cannot be overridden. Therefore, I would not recommend syncing these two stats. If you have an iPhone 4S or a 5, then it's okay to synchronize this information. Hit done, then you can tap the sync now button. The first time you do this, it will ask you to log into your Fitbit account. From then on, this information will be remembered and the information will be added to the health app on a daily basis. Unfortunately at this time, the synchronizations do not happen more frequently, but this solution is better than nothing. Until such time that Fitbit actually makes the effort to improve their app, these workarounds are the best we can get. SyncSolver is a decent app though and worth the 69 pence to make your Fitbit a lot more useful. If you found this video useful, please like, comment and subscribe and we'll be back soon with another video.